Hello. Hello. Hello, Bill. Is my sound okay? Yes. Yes. Happy Sunday, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy today? Yes? Yes. Yes. All right, Bill. What did you do today? How did you spend your Sunday? I am playing chess on my iPad. I play with computer. All right. It's going to be an online game, right? Online yeah. game. Yeah. I play it with I play with computer. Mm -hmm. Alone? Playing chess. Yes. Yeah. Alone, Playing Bill. Chess. Alone. Or with your friend. Yeah. <gasps> wow <Hello. laughs> that's great all right so bill thank you so much for answering all of my questions so for today bill before we will start our lesson i will ask you about our homework yesterday okay so for our homework you're going to talk about the job responsibility of a vet okay first job is a vet all right, I will uh, type it here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that is a vet. Vet. Um, ah, yeah. Okay, so what do you think are the job responsibility of a vet? Bill. Um, a vet uh, helps mm, the animal to feel better. Mm -hmm, that's right. Did you know who, uh, <gasps> who called this teacher? Wow! Who? The My who? mom. Oh, your mom. I draw, I draw a lot of pictures like that. Okay. Ah, it's just a small one. Yeah, when um. I feel your soul, mm -hmm. my mom teaches me. Mm -hmm. Your mom really likes drawing? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Bill? Do you have any interest when it comes to arts, like drawing, like that? Um, I don't like it that much. <laughs> you don't like it that much. Okay. I like, um, I like teaching chess. Mm -hmm. I like chess. Okay. You like chess. You like sports a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I like running right. too. Mm -hmm. That is right. Okay, thank you, Bill. So, Bill, that is correct. Uh, when we say vet, they're going to examine animals to assess their health and also diagnose problems. Okay, so my dad is uh, my my dad is a vet. Your dad, uh, but my dad just helped the fish and and dogs oh only fish and dog okay that's nice my dad so, makes his own medicine oh really he will yeah. be the one to produce his own medicine for the animals yes oh so you mean your dad your dad is a scientist because as you know scientists will dad also is invent scientist. Invent my, some. My dad not scientist. He just try to make the medicine and and when he tried it with his fish, it it works. Ah, uh, it works. Okay, it's you mean it's effective. Yeah. Effective. Okay. Wow. Very good. All right, Bill. Thank you for that. Now let's move on to chef. Okay, what about chef? Chef, uh, they will cook food for us. Mm -hmm. My mother teach me to make food when I was six years old. Okay, so do you know how to cook now? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> now um... I. I can uh, do, I can make juice. 
juice. All right, only juice. What about eggs? Do you know how to cook eggs? Egg. Fried um, eggs like that? Eggs, no. Mm -hmm. No? I don't want to try it. You don't want to try? Why? Tell me. Because I don't know. <laughs> You're afraid, Bill, to use yeah. your electronic stove? Yeah. Oh. When I use juice, it's... Yeah. I still it's have to use knife, but it's, but it's easy. Why? Why do you need to use a knife when you're going to make a juice? Because like lemon juice, I need to cut it before I squeeze it. <laughs> That's right. But you need to be careful, all right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I just mm, cut it mm, just one time. Oh, one time. Only once. All right. Yeah. I haven't do the second time. Oh. I just... Not yet? Yeah. Not yet the second time. All right, Bill. Very good for that. Okay. So normally, Bill, that is correct. They're going to prepare food for us. So they will set up the kitchen with cooking utensils and equipment. So if you are a chef, you will use knife. Or as you can see here, my message, we have knives, which means different variety of knives. Small, small knife, big knife, like that. A lot. Okay. We also have pans and kitchen scales. All right. So you need to know, okay, Bill, when we say kitchen scales, it's like, it's like if you will cook, you need to know the proper measurement of a certain ingredient like water, oil, uh, soy sauce, if how many tablespoons do you need? Like one tablespoon, all right, two tablespoons, that is scale, it's measurement, okay? Scale yeah. or measurement, all right? Okay, now, aside from that, Bill, they will cook food in a timely manner. So there is a correct time when, when and where they're going to cook food. Let's say, for example, this food is for breakfast, this food is for lunch, this food is for dinner, okay? I like to eat breakfast at hotel when I go on vacation. Why do you like the foods there? Uh, because it's yummy. It's yummy. But what about lunch? You don't like it? Lunch? Lunch time. Um, you don't like it? My, in my country, there is no lunch in the, the hotel. Yeah. I always eat outside. <laughs> oh, I guess that is right. Okay. When you will go to the hotel, if you will pay the let's say their room but i room. can i can call food too but you can cook mm, no i can uh, order cook, order food at the hotel ah you can order online and they will not, deliver not order online we uh order her to the one at the hotel okay so you can, can make it, but my house don't like mm, that so they like to eat seafood me too oh, so right. so i go outside to eat <laughs> so they want usually you will request some seafood if you will go to the hotel yeah oh wow okay but that is just about during breakfast right yeah yes very good for that bl Okay, Bill, thank you for answering. Okay, last one is that we will have our dentist. Okay, what about dentist, Bill? Dent um, mm -hmm. Dentist will help uh, like everyone, like tooth decay mm -hmm. or... Or they, they have to 
change their teeth. Mm -hmm. That is my right. Son, I don't. When I, uh, when the teeth, uh, my teeth almost uh, get out, I don't need to go to the dentist. Why? I just need to do it at home because ah. my father has, because my father has a type of medicine that if we drink it, we we still uh, know everything, but we, it it don't hurt. Okay. Don't hurt. So you will do it at home. It's just you like will... normal. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you will use because the white home, nylon? It's... No. I use um, something like a type of um, medicine. Mm -hmm. So and I don't your... feel... And your teeth will... I don't and feel your... hurt. And your tooth will automatically get removed? If you will drink something? No, I still need to use the um the um the thing that dentists use to remove the teeth out. Um it's yeah. like oh I got it. But who will be the one to remove Bill? Your dad? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so your dad knows how to do it. Yeah, but my dad is not a dentist. Mm -hmm. All right, your dad is not a dentist. Okay, so uh, that is all right. Okay, Bill, if, if you are a dentist or the job of a dentist is that they're going to remove the decay from teeth, from our teeth and feel cavities, all right? So they will also clean our teeth. They will check if there are cavities like the black one. Okay, that is yeah. very common for kids because kids really like sweet candies, like chocolates, candies, like that. Yeah, okay. and, and, the, and the medicine that when we drink it, it's not hurt. Uh, when we put it in, to the teeth, it's not hurt. It's like, uh, it's sweet. It's sweet. The medicine is sweet. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Okay. Until now, Bill, you're also doing that one at home. Yeah. Oh, so yes. it that one. <laughs> Your dad do it, did that. Yeah. Wow. So it's not painful. All right. When I was a kid, Bill, like I was like your age, I will really cry if my mom removed my teeth, my tooth. You won't cry? No, it's not hurt. <laughs> it's not painful. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe, Bill, your pain tolerance is high. That is why for you, it's not really painful but for others i guess that is painful yeah yes okay so bill thank you so much for that so that's gonna be all about the job okay we have different job and responsibilities so for you bill in the future you will be the one to decide what work do you do like if you want to be an engineer, a teacher, a doctor, a vet, a chef. I like or... to be a scientist like Einstein. <laughs> a scientist, yes. It can be because you're smart. All right. So it is I know lots of things of, of uh... science. Yeah. Okay. You know a lot of science. Okay. That's better. That's nice. Okay, Bill. I heard the but no one teach me. Ah, because you read a lot as well. Yeah, and I, I, I just watch a type of video. A video like um. Doctor by knock. You mean documentary? Do you know documentary, Bill? All right, documentary videos. It's for factual videos about science, like what happened to the Earth, what happened to the Sun, the Moon, our planet, like that. Um, no, I I watch Dr. Binox. All right. I got it. Okay, Bill. You can search it. Oh, can you send me? Can you send me the 
word, please? Okay. All right. I will check that out. All right. Thank you for this, Bill. I will check this one. This is in English form, Bill, not in Vietnamese. Yeah, it's in English form. All it's right. like Vietnamese too. Oh. But I watch, but I watch English. Okay. If you like English, you can search uh, Dr. Binoc English. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will check that one later on. All right, Bill, we finish uh, talking about sports. Now, this time, uh, I mean, job and responsibilities. Now, this time, we will uh, talk about sports. Okay, Bill, as you can see, we have here different vocabulary when it comes to sports. That's the first one. That is, can you read, please? Soccer. Okay, what do you know about soccer game? Ah, I like to play soccer with my friends. When I was kindergarten, I played with my friends a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but I don't learn with them anymore. But <laughs> but now at my last class, mm -hmm. I I saw one of my my kindergarten friends. Mm -hmm. All right. He, but... he is um, he is uh, he learned with my class. You learn with your class. No, he learned with me in ah, one class at, at, at the mass. Today, I go there to learn. You mean I it's a school? Again. It's an academy school like that? No, it's just a mass to place. Ah. That teach mass. Mm -hmm. I will see him today. Today? Yeah. All right. Did you play at also? Mm, yeah, I will play him a bit. I will play with him a bit. Mm -hmm. And I learn with him too. Mm -hmm. But I always came earlier than him. All right. But who do you but who do you think plays better, you or him? Um uh, when I was kindergarten, uh he is my best friend. Mm -hmm. So now still that. All right, still the same. Okay, very good for that. But, but I like another friend, another oh. two friends who is, is also at that kindergarten school. When and I learn with them, it great great one and other friends in my kindergarten school too. Mm -hmm. But I don't learn with them anymore. I learn with other friends, and I have new friends. Oh, you have lots of friends. <laughs> you like you like all of them. Yeah. Oh, how many friends do you have? Five? Total of five? Um, lots. Lots. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. All right. I understand that. Bill, I don't when like to I, have lots of friends. Um, kindergarten, I go to football. I play it. It's, I play with lots of friends. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So, but now, Bill, that is very good technique because aside from, you know, already how to play soccer game, you can also learn from them. You can also learn from your friends, right? Mm, no. Or your just, friends will learn from you. Like normal. We don't normal. know. Yeah, we don't know every mm, the rule of playing soccer. Okay, now you don't know the rules still of playing yeah. soccer? Yeah. All because right. I because? Just know a few things. All right, just, uh, I... okay, just a few, just the basic one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so as you notice, Bill, the very important thing about soccer is that you use it to kick the ball, right? You will kick the ball. Yeah. Yes. I like to kick the ball. Yes. And then? Because the I ball... run very fast. <laughs> yes, that's right. And then the ball must be stationary on the center spot. 
like do you know the net yeah. there's a net yeah. right so that yeah. must be there okay so uh be careful be careful if the ball will be kicked by another player so you need to you need to consider and play when it is kicked and moves my friends play football at my school mm -hmm. uh the teacher teach him how to play mm -hmm. and he have injured mm -hmm. ah danger but now he yeah ah. he is he is learning at my house now <laughs> all right wow. he's my friends too okay so what about you bill do you have any plans to learn more when it comes to playing soccer yeah all right so yeah, i like to play chess more because uh i see every of the soccer player always like um if they do too much, they have heart disease. Oh, or, you mean or, over fatigue, like cardio, cardio disease? Okay, cardio disease. Hard. Yes, they that is cardio. That's right. Yeah. If you will run too much and you are tired. Yes, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, the... I know him. He's one of the most famous football player in the world. Yeah. Messi, do you know Messi? Messi as well. Is... Messi, I know. <laughs> wow. He is, I like Lerano Messi more mm -hmm. because he won World Cup this this nearest uh time. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. So thank you for that, Bill. Okay, Bill, since you also like playing soccer, tell me how many members each team when you play soccer? Do you have any idea? Um, I could play with friends too. Mm -hmm. My friends okay. also like play soccer, but I like to play hide and seek. <gasps> hide and seek? That is like in the if Philippines. If I don't bring my chest. Okay. All right. In the Philippines, Bill, hide and seek is considered as a traditional game. Which means when we say traditional game, it's just being participated in a certain group of people. Like you're not going to have that one in an my international friend, game. My friend and I always say traditional <laughs> China. <laughs> what do you mean by he that? He's very funny. Funny. He is funny. my best friend now. Okay. All right. And then you also like to play hide and seek together. Yeah. But, but sometimes I play another things like super zombie. Uh, but super I play zombie. It. <laughs> the zombie, uh, someone will um, make a zombie. Mm -hmm. Will do a zombie. The, then, and then they will, will catch run. other. All right. And, and they catch other. If the one that we catch, mm -hmm. that means they will be a uh, zombie, and they just just catch. Mm -hmm. And you will run? You will run very fast? Yeah, I run. But no oh. one can catch me. <laughs> because you run very fast. Yeah. Okay. But, but just a little bit. Because in case when I run too much, mm -hmm. I'll be tired. I need to drink water. But you're not allowed to drink water. Drink a lot of water if you will run. You will experience yeah. stomach so, ache. So I so I always bring water with <laughs> water bottle. Yeah. All right. That's good. So that is a source of exercise as well. Okay, that's better. All right, Bill. Thank you for that. Okay, Bill and and playing soccer, there are two teams. Okay. Each team two teams must... and each team have eleven people. Ten that's people. That's right. Uh, play soccer and one people one... is goal catcher. That's right. Very good for that. All right. As I mean see... that on Dr. Binox. <laughs> oh, I will check that. All right. I send you a picture. All right. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. It's a football. It's a soccer. Uh, it's a soccer field. It's a soccer field. Yes. I 
I think it's very easy for me to run in about um one minute. I just take about thirty um second to run through it. Because really? I run, I run too fast. <laughs> wow! If I keep running. I don't know that I am. I am tired, but <laughs> when I stop, I will be tired. Okay, so you you will run continuously so that you will not get easily tired, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now, Bill, let's go to the scoring bond. In soccer game, it's really hard to have the score like one one point like that because there are lots of things that you need to be considered, like the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what number one? When I one... play football at school with my friends, mm. I kick. But do you know, uh, I kick it even <laughs> if no one can catch it because <laughs> it goes to everyone, uh, foot. Uh -huh. But no one. But n it's never get into, never trap me in other foot. Uh huh. Okay, so that's uh, the thing. How that do you, you know? Do you know that there is a type of thing like soccer? Then they will need to do it like soccer, but uh, need to throw Touch. the ball, ball oh, yeah. through the mm, through the circle without mm -hmm. using hand. Ah. Do you know that the team that uh, lose will will they would use them to eat? They will eat, uh, people eat people. Oh, really? Is that common? Yeah, mm. even now. Okay. So, Bill, thank you so for that idea. That people eat people. Okay. People eat people. That is quite unfamiliar. So, when it comes to sports, what do you, know, what do you mean by people eat people? sports all right you mean uh they're going to they're going I to mean that, uh, fight me that the team that lose ah. they, they are going the, the other team will use them to eat all right i understand that okay that is a, that is shock mm -hmm. that is surprising right it's also, I also learned it on Dr. Bynock too. <laughs> yes, I will check that again, Bill. Okay, Bill, thank you so much for answering. You're really good in expanding your thoughts. That the invention of money. Ah, uh, wow. That's going to be our next topic after sports. Okay, we will tackle about money. Okay, all right. So, Bill, before we will end our lesson, I will leave you a homework. So, your homework is that next meeting, you're going to talk about what is your favorite sports and why do you like it? So, it's just our speaking skills for you to practice even more, okay? So, I will send you the homework. All right, can you see that? Yeah. Yes. I also have, I also play I just learned basketball a time when I break one, but now I don't learn basketball anymore. Okay, so you will talk that one next meeting, okay? All right, okay. Bill, keep up the good work as always. Good job because you use advanced vocabulary in our lesson for today. Bye-bye, Bill, and see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.